Okay, now we are going to do the supraorbital nerve block. The supraorbital nerve block is very easy, straightforward. The way to find the nerve is to find the vertical line that goes across the mid pupillar line. So in this case, I'm going to use a marker. So we look at the iris, we look at the pupil, and in a vertical line that passes in front, this is the area where the supraorbital nerve is going to be. So in order to do the uh, nerve block, first we are going to numb the area with some uh, topical anesthetic that's to decrease the discomfort of the first injection and we're gonna let it be there for uh, some few minutes now uh, close your eyes we're going to remove the excess of the topical anesthesia then we are going to clean the area of the injection with a little bit of alcohol to keep the area sterile and then we're going to use our uh, topical ana uh, uh, anesthetic. We're going to use lidocaine with an epinephrine, 1%. I'm going to start with the 30 gauge needle. We're going to look in the area and we're going to do a small injection in the skin, butterfly kiss. Then after we have numbed the face, we can do the deep injection. For doing that, we're going to change the needle and we're going to use a bigger caliber hypodermic. In this case, we're going to use a 27 gauge needle and we're going to go perpendicular to the forehead in the area that we already pre numbed. I'm going to go straight down to the bone. We can aspirate to make sure that we don't get any one of the vessels and we create a bleb of local anesthetic that is going to be like about one centimeter then after that we see the wheel and that area is going to start numbing the, uh, causing the blocking of the supraorbital nerve in about a minute so this is the supraorbital nerve block Okay, so once uh, we have identified the supraorbital nerve block, we are going to go perpendicular to the skin on a, in an angle of 90 degrees, and then we do an injection down to the bone, and then we can aspirate to make sure that there is no um, perforation of the blood vessel, and then you inject local anesthetic until you create a wheel. It's about one centimeter injection, and then after a minute, that area is going to be numbed. And that was the supraorbital nerve block.